Hi again everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Societal Narcissism. This video is sponsored by contribution from Eric. Eric gave a general contribution, which I'll use for this video. We got another one. Only watched a couple seconds of this video and I knew we had one. How to cope with your abusive adult child or children. Hello there and welcome back to Midlife Crisis. I'm Cheryl. I'm all <laughs> How many red flags? How many red flags can you count in two seconds of video? Home. There we go. They always got to tell you how great their home is with their, with their fucking TJ Maxx accessories. Giant tits out. Okay. Sing song voice vocal fry voice and what we have here we have a queen bee i guess who's gone been gone no contact with all over the place and so a little time passed by which i apologize about i went over to miami just to take a break i have a new grandson i'm so excited it just wasn't enough time but i'm sure you're gonna ruin that child too aren't you i want to talk about a topic that is really bothering me because it's a lot of responses, a lot of comments, and it's very disturbing stuff. Today, I'd like to talk about how to cope. Again, this is another curated video, another edited video, and you could hear, this is another woman, you could hear the suppressed rage in this woman's voice. You can hear it. The sweeter and the more vocal fry they put on, okay, the more intense the underlying rage always is. With abusive adult children, how we can just live our lives and get past this thing. <laughs> so don't go away. Oh, God. So I've had my experience with this thing. And really shocking with those crazy eyes. Can't believe it. Can't believe your children well, don't, don't want to have anything to deal with you. And it is no joke. Topics that I cover, it is not hypothetically. So if it's no joke, why? You got a big shit eating grin on your face. Why? If it's no joke, why are you laughing? I am talking from experience. So I would like to just kind of cover a few pointers on how you can actually cope. Because if you're not careful, if you don't have the support, which I was finding was happening to me, you can be all over the place and I can't. You keep hearing that. If you don't have the support, if you don't have the support, well, what do you mean you don't have the support? What that means is no contact works. Means you're no, God, she look crazy. God, I can only imagine what this woman must be like in a rage. You going no contact is exactly the right move because it puts them, it puts your abuser exactly where they need to be without their support. So what, nobody wants to deal with you? Is that what's going on here? You said you got, obviously you got another child you're talking to if you got a grandchild you're going to see and potentially going to ruin. So what is it? What's the support? It's not the support. You have other children. You have grandchildren. So it's not like there's nobody there to support you. It's the no contact that is driving you, that is driving you insane which is why we go no contact to get away from you. This is what, this is why you don't go back people because no contact works. It works. Don't let anybody tell you it doesn't work. It works. God, is she crazy? Tell you how far I've gone in thoughts on, you know, where to turn. I was even thinking to go to a TV station because when you are in this environment and you have nowhere else to turn, it is... You're going to go to a TV station and say what? What, blow up your kid's spot? Trash your kid? Seek out pity? 
publicly. I mean, you're doing that pretty well on YouTube, and you were going to go to a TV station. You pretty much did the same thing. I mean, that's what YouTube is. YouTube is bigger than TV at this point. It's not only painful, you know, it can affect you in a negative way. So you have to be very careful. And how does your, how did your abuse affect your child? Was that in a negative way or did that just doesn't count? See, that doesn't count. Never does. So I'd like to just kind of cover what I went through and how I dealt with it. And I can tell you that when it's happening, you turn to every corner. You start thinking, where did I go wrong? You know, who can I turn to? And in my case, there was no sister or brother. There was no one to turn to. I was talking a lot of what was going on with my mom, but she- Oh, turn to your mother. No sister or brothers. So you turned to where? Oh, the source. The source of all this, who who your mother, who probably abused you, and then you in turn turned around and abused your child. She was so far in age that I didn't want to burden her too much. She even offered to come to the house to talk to the boys because I have boy children. And oh, there makes sense. Gee, what son, okay, let me ask you something, Whether you, what son would want their mother on YouTube at her age with her fucking giant tits out? Mm? Can't figure out what the problem is. <laughs> Can't figure out why you didn't want your mother coming in and talking to your son because your mother is because her mother is the root of the fucking problem she is the source the, the 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 beginning source of this problem in their family that's why because her mother probably would have sided with the son or undermined her or made and made it worse and she knows that and she doesn't want to admit to that she probably went abusing her sons emasculating her sons with her giant fucking tits out. I mean, sorry, you're going to put them out there. I'm going to call you out for it with your giant tits out like this at your age. Hmm. Wonder who taught her to dress like that. Hmm. Hmm. Can't figure out. Can't figure. Like I said, they run a playbook. And once you start seeing the formations, okay, the eyes, the tits out, the marshals, the marshals tchotchke in the background telling you this is a home or family. You could see the play they're running. Okay, this is an emasculating mother. This is, this is a woman who will compete with her sons, well, who will emasculate their sons and compete with their daughters and ruin them. That's the formation. Blitz, blitz, blitz. This is what I'm this is what I'm telling you about once you understand the playbook, you could see their formation. You know the play they're gonna run. You could see this. As soon as I saw her tits out in the home thing and the eyes two seconds in, I knew the play she was running. I knew it. You gotta recognize these things. And it was it was difficult. It was hard, it was stifling. I was lost and I'm a person that's well versed on things. And what I was experiencing, I couldn't make sense of it because I woke up one day. Because I woke up one day and everything that had worked in the past, everything that had worked on me from my mother wasn't working on my son, who finally said, enough's enough, bitch. I want you out of my life. That's why it confuses them. When you know the play. When you can react to the play and when you can stop it cold in the fucking backfield before it even gets going, they are confused because they have been running these plays uninhibited for decades. And they expect to be able to continue running these plays for decades. Once you know the playbook, once you can spot the formation, you know what's coming. And they're completely confused. And now their support system is cut off, which means what? Which means no contact, which means what? Means no contact works. And it was happening. 
You know, like I said in previous videos, you can raise your children, give them all of the pointers for Here their adult go. life. Here we but go. trust me when I tell you, they decide which route they're going to take. And once the disrespect, the insensitivity and the manipulation starts taking place, you've got to take a step back. Who's manipulating who? How you, I mean, it, it's unbelievable the power they assign to their children. People that they spent decades, okay, decades in control of. And now somehow this has been, the, the split, the script had been, had been flipped on them. No, no. Your son got tired of your emasculation, got tired of your, of your abuse, got tired of your queen bee rage, and I'm sure violence, because I can hear your rage. No matter how sweet you try to talk, no matter how much vocal fry, sweetness, sing-song delivery you put out there, I can hear your underlying rage. I can know, I know what you must have sounded like screaming in your son's faces. All of them. I can, I can, I can only envision it. Because you can easily be pulled out of your character, which is what happened to me. I have a temper. Oh. oh. Okay, and I'm like a colonel in certain ways. Oh. So oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Really, you have a temper. <laughs> oh, she has a temper. Like, we, we didn't know that. Again, I knew that. Two seconds watching into your into your video. The second you opened your mouth, because you are running the narcissistic playbook. I got your formation. I know the play you're running. I know you're verbally abusive. I know you're physically abusive. I'm a colonel. Just because you acknowledge it and laugh about it, don't make it okay. I was fighting back, you know, raising my children, I never cursed at them. I would discipline them, I would correct them, but there was no cursing going on. So you were like a colonel, but she didn't curse. So in her mind, because she didn't curse, okay, it's not abuse. It's not abuse. She could scream, she could yell, she could hit, okay, she could call names. Okay, she could say any horrible thing that she wants to say to the to her sons. Okay, but because she didn't curse, it's now not abuse. This is how the narcissist, this is how the abuser thinks. This is how they rationalize, r rationalize in their own mind that they're right, that they're just. But they know they're not. They know they're not. Otherwise, she wouldn't need the home tchotchke from Marshall's. Five ninety nine. She wouldn't be sitting here with her fucking tits out, pushing sixty. So I don't even know how old she is. You're a queen bee, raised by another queen bee. Okay, and you all you're doing is continuing the cycle of abuse that goes on in quick queen bees. Where is the father? No, it's weird. No, it's weird. No, it's weird. And it's not weird. When she said she had no support system, she mentioned brother. She mentioned sister. She mentioned her own mother. She knows she didn't mention the ch children's father. Where's he? Hmm? Sure, you got a long tale of abuse about him, too. How he won shit. And I'm sure you told your sons repeatedly how their daddy ain't shit. How their daddy is a loser, right? Right? And their daddy ain't shit. And yet you're all they got. And she does it how you deserve better. As you're screaming and yelling. Not cursing. Colonel. Colonel Big Tits. Okay? Colonel Big Tits over here. Okay? Wants you to know she didn't abuse her kid didn't abuse her son so she's she's like a colonel had no support system mentions everybody in the family except the kid's father 
Weird. Bizarre. If you know the plays and you can spot the formation, you know what they're going to say. But after a while, I was hearing the effing word and I know how to do that, you know? So it was tit for tat at that point because now they're not children, they're adults. If you don't step back and take control of the situation, you can easily be pulled out of your character, which you do not want to do. Well, control of what situation? What do you mean take control of the situation? Why should anybody be controlling any situation? This is the problem. It's a constant fight for control with these people. They have to control. It's not a matter of control. It's a matter of of accepting and taking responsibility for your own fucking behavior and not saying well oh, I'm, I'm i got a temper i'm like a colonel but i don't curse what, the, what does that mean and and oh the rationalization skills are 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 something are something to be something to really be studied honestly I mean, there are times that you don't have control over certain things, but step back, step back and see what's feeding into it. You have a troublemaker somewhere and you've got to find out who that person is. Oh, you want to know? You want to know who the problem is, where the troublemaker is? Look in a mirror. See, this is it. They're looking for this troublemaker. They're looking for the source when the source is right in front of them is right in the mirror. You want to know where the other source is? The other source is the person that you didn't want to have come in and talk to your children because you knew she was the source. That's why. Who you don't have enough courage. You didn't have enough courage to cut out of your life, which is something you should have done decades ago, and you didn't. You're actually jealous of your son for having some fucking backbone to stand up to you for once. Because this is not just happening. There is someone in the background, whether it's the other parent, another sibling, there is someone in the background. The other parent. So, so this is the first we're hearing of the father. It can't, because it can't be me. It has to be somebody in the background because it can't be me. Brown, that is helping to egg this situation on. Mm -hmm. But it is in your household. So anybody who may be supporting the abused child is now just egging them on. Is now a troublemaker in the background. Weird how that works out. Weird. So you're the one that's going to have to put the situation under control. I am saying over and over, pay attention to you, you know, focus on you. And that's kind of hard to do when you have all of these things. Oh, going on. Lord, it's all these people have ever done is focus on themselves. Except for now, now that you got cut out, now you've been, now you've been aggrieved. Now this is what controls your life because somebody knows what you are and has called you on it and wants nothing to do with you. But you have to come to a point where you are not giving in, but giving that tough love. I promise you, things will get better. You know, everything has its season. How do you know you're not the one getting the tough love? Can't be you having in need of tough love, right? It's always your children, Colonel. Colonel Big Tits here. Colonel Big Tits wants everybody to know she's just giving tough love. And you are in this mood right now, but it will change. Just keep praying about it and focus on what you need. If you need to get out of the house, if you need to fly out, which is something I used to do a lot. <laughs> when you're out of the I used to fly out a lot. So again, you used to just abandon your children, make it about you. Like, again, 
again, if you listen to them along, if you just listen to them, they'll tell you what shitty parents they are. All of these channels, all of them will tell you if you just listen to what they're saying and just just break it down. They will admit to you what shitty fucking parents they actually were. The environment you can look in and see exactly what route you need to take to correct things. But don't... Oh, do you see the head? Like, you can see who this woman is. You can see what she's like in an absolute rage. It's this entitlement. Because the queen bee is entitled. She is entitled. You don't give her her way. She is going to make hell for everyone. Fully lose control where you're losing respect for yourself and giving in to a parasitic situation. Because I can tell you that if you do that, nothing will get corrected. We are dealing with a generation that is completely different to what we know. And you've got to slam the brakes on the situation. <laughs> and really, Colonel, this is, again, I mean, just just to read her, her, the, the word she's using, slamming the brakes, control this generation. Like, no, honey. No, 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 no. No, you are telling on yourself this entire video. Fix things step by step. I could, you could see the rage in her face. It is all there. This woman is a fucking monster. And I know to my black subscribers, and especially the black women, this is, this is your mother. This is a lot of your mothers. This is a lot of your mothers. And then she'll sit there with that quiet. And you know, when she's talking like that, the second, the second you're alone with her, oh boy, oh boy, the hell that's going to break loose. But while you're doing that, pay attention to you and what you need to make yourself happy. Right. And eventually things will work itself out. You know, I'm seeing that we have some adult children that are trying to justify the situation and we know what we're saying we know what we're complaining about oh. and i'm responding to some of them because the world is a circle and, and i'm responding to you and your bullshit and your sing song vocal fry delivery okay which is almost which is still as she's delivering it basically a veiled threat she's basically threatening her son here like you won't break me I'm still the same person, and I'm going to get you in the end. This is what she's doing. This is what she's doing. And things go around, and eventually they themselves will be apparent. If they're not already, some of... Right, right. And the best thing that that, chi that child who cut you out can do is keeping you away from their... From, from, from that grandchild. That is the best thing they could do because he is breaking the cycle. Cycle is circle. When you go no contact, you're breaking the cycle. You're breaking the circle. See? Listen to their words. They want it to be life is a circle. Not necessarily. Not if you break the cycle. Not if you go no contact. This is what she's not. This And she understands this. She can't have her son. She can't have her son and that grandchild proving her wrong. She needs him in that circle. So the cycle continues. It's bullshit. The people that are like commenting on this topic, they have grandchildren that are being pushed on them and there there is no gratitude some of them are experiencing disrespect from the grandchildren if you can believe that so this is how far this thing is going <clears throat> because that's what they've learned okay that's what they learned from their parent who learned it from you they learned it from you they're just smaller versions of yourself but again, 
keep the situation in control and pay attention to what you need to make yourself happy, stabled, and stay healthy because that's what's important. You know, you cannot do any kind of crash landing. You've got to stay stabilized and you have to control the situation. I know growing up. There's that word again, control. You're not in control. You don't control another adult. You don't. You're not trying to control the situation. You're trying to control a grown man. And he's not allowing you to. And that's what's really burning your ass, Colonel Big Debts. That's what's burning you up. Because the queen bee needs to be the queen. That means she needs to control everything. And when you deny her that, oh boy, look out. Oh boy, look out. No one can take advantage of you unless you let them. So pay attention, because if you don't do that, you will find yourself being completely manipulated and you don't want to do that. You want to stay in control and you want to have your peace. Yeah, you'll, you're the one and being the manipulated. You're the one being manipulated. That is to keep your focus and stay in control. Okay, it's not an easy thing, but if you're thinking about it, it's gonna happen, as I said. I think, and by control, she means not turning into the rage, but the rage is all over this woman's face. She thinks she can make a sing song, a sing song type of video like this and put on the sweet voice and somehow she's remaining in control. She's not. Because the second that, that her little sweet act doesn't work, on one of her children, you see the real her. You see Colonel Big Tits come on out. Keep praying about the situation and things will work itself out. It will, it always does. Okay, check us out at midliferises.com. Do subscribe to the channel so that you'll be notified of our weekly videos and we will see you next time. Take care now. How about no? How about no? going to keep calling out these channels and these monsters who are out there acting like they're giving some kind of worldly advice to poor abused parents. Once you got their playbook, once you got their plays, you can see the formation and you know what's coming. You know what's coming. What, what son wants to see their mother making YouTube videos with their giant tits out like this. Hmm. Hmm. Don't care what age you are, okay? You're the problem. You're the reason why your son don't talk to you anymore. So, but please, go on with your nonsense channel, please. And then my chat channels like mine will be here to break this shit down and call you out and to, and to show people what's really going on. So, have at it. Thank you, Eric, for, for the contribution. I really appreciate it. Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions in the comments section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, something you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up a Skype, a phone call, have a private video made, you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing, and successful, because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all this goes away. So if you like what you see here, and you want to see more videos like this, you know what to do with either the Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, and email links in the description box below. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. Also, be sure to subscribe to both my channels on Rumble. Follow me on Twitter and Telegram as well. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been Societal Narcissism. Take care, everyone.